Hi, uh, so welcome to round two of the vlog. Um, at this point in time, I've got no idea how November's vlog has gone down because it hasn't actually uploaded yet. I'm working on that now. It is currently uploading as I speak. So hopefully somebody somewhere enjoys that. And hopefully that same, probably one person, enjoys whatever happens with December's vlog too. Uh, we'll see. So... Um, so yeah, so I decided to just have another go because um, I think I mentioned in the last one I actually quite enjoyed doing it. I know I didn't do a lot, there wasn't really a lot going on but I quite enjoyed having a go at it. it like I said, it was something new to try so we're going to see how December goes. My plan is to do pretty much what I did last month and just mm. go about my day-to-day -day life and if anything vaguely interesting happens, get on camera show it talk about it whatever uh and yeah that that's it really uh so um i'm trying to think if anything vaguely interesting is happening today it is the first of december obviously uh so it's officially advent calendar season so that's exciting that's something to look forward to uh my son's already opened his of course daddy left it in full view before he's left for work this morning so we came downstairs and there was Paw Patrol advent calendar waiting to be opened so that's been done already and he's quite excited to open mommy's boxes now and uh, get get into mommy's presents as he calls them uh, so I've got the cult beauty advent calendar and the look fantastic calendar as well uh, so I'm quite excited to get into them to be honest I, I know I know some of what's in there I've forgotten quite a lot but I know there's a couple of things in there that I'm like mm, I kind of want to get to those soon I am opening them on Instagram I think I, yeah I said I was going to open them on Instagram so I'm going to get my son up in a minute well up upstairs I mean he's already up he's been up for a while uh, and uh, we're gonna gonna get into those and anything else oh excuse the wild look by the way this is uh the morning after a late shift i have another one of those to do tonight so tomorrow if i'm on camera at all will be even worse it's a thing so yeah so i'm i'm thinking i might throw some clothes on soon get up because i must not because i want to um, and yeah get into the calendars so I think that's it for now and I will hopefully see you in another clip shortly bye so it's the 3rd of December today I nearly said November then I think that's wishful thinking um, I've got my little my little person here excuse this horrendous mess we're, we're waiting for a certain man in red to come and deal with all of that um so i just wanted to yeah i just wanted to pop on and say hi update you a little bit on a few things there's not much really happened work home and not a lot in between but we are going to decorate our christmas tree today aren't we mate mm -hmm. yeah we're going to go out and about although it's shocker it's raining uh, and we're going to go and get some decorations for the tree because we threw everything out during lockdown thinking that's ah, okay by the end of the year we'll all be able to go out again <laughs> how naive were we uh so yes yeah, so we've got to go and do that now because we've been putting it off and putting it off and putting tick it off tick tock okay tick tock apparently I think he's trying to tell me it's time to get a move on. Uh, we are late getting up this morning. That's nothing new, but you know. We are now dressed. We are about ready to go. So that's what we're going to do with today. Uh, I want to try and get some filming done later as well. Uh, I've got my empties and my beauty purchases videos to film. Still haven't done those yet. So I need to just give myself another kick up the bum to be honest so i think that's going to happen today uh so let's just get on with it shall we so come on mommy come on mommy say again 
Come on, Mommy! There we go. I've been told. I've got to go now. We're walking through the park. We don't have wellies on, but we're walking through puddles. But it's okay, because we're on our way home, aren't we, Bob? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You going to say hello? Hello. <laughs> it's a bit wet today, isn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we've got all our decorations. We've got a bag full of stuff there. And we've also got a little bag of stuff for um, Mummy for work, haven't we? Because let me just turn this round. Uh, yeah, so um, my work are doing a charity thing. Um, they're sort of filling up a load of boxes to send to families in need over Christmas. So I've um, just been and picked up a few things for my share of it all. So I've got some colouring books and some toys, didn't we? And uh, the little man helped me pick some. So that's good. He was very helpful. He was very nice. And then when I asked him if he wanted to pick something for himself, I asked him if he wanted a toy and a colouring book. And he said he only wanted one thing. So that was good. Um, still got my mask on. I've got to go into another shop on the way home, so there's no point taking it off. And uh, are you coming? Hi. He's coming. He's flagging a bit, bless him. We raced all the way into the town, so he's a bit tired. And it's definitely wet and miserable, so I don't blame him for being a bit mopey. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Just when he sees himself, a little narcissist. Never mind. So, yeah, so on our way home, one more shop to do, and then oh, that's it. I'm not leaving the house for the rest of the day. Not in this anyway, so see you later. So it's the end of the day. Um, I've just put my son to bed and I thought I'd just pop on and update you on today. Um, obviously you've already seen some of it. You saw that we've gone shopping for some Christmas decorations and a few other bits and pieces. You saw how miserable the weather was probably. Um, I, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Um, today's just felt like a really long day. In reality it hasn't even been that long um i haven't really done a massive amount but it's with the weather it's just this end of the year everything just feels like it's more hard work it's gray and dark it's cold it's wet it's miserable it's just not fun um but yeah so i put my son to bed and i thought i'd just slip away and do this because i don't think i'm gonna get any filming filming done um, I'm too tired. I really just want to get in the bath, get in my pyjamas and get into bed. I have work at a stupid time in the morning as well so that sounds it. So the whole going to bed early it sounds even more appealing. Um, so yeah so I'm just gonna show you a few things that I got today and hopefully go and get on with getting ready for bed. Uh, so as I said, I've got a few bits for a charity box at work. I literally just got a pile of kid stuff. Um, there was a few categories to choose from and I picked kid stuff. I don't know why, because I knew I'd have to have my son with me and he'd probably want stuff. He did. He was actually, no, he was really, really good about it. He did help me pick a few things. Um, he, saw, he saw one of the things I got and he thought it was for him initially so i had to explain to him what was going on and we talked about you know why we were buying things for other children and that there's some children aren't as lucky as him and well, it was kind of a talking point really and he was really good about it he did get a little bit of a wobbly lip when he realized he wasn't getting what was in the basket um and he had been really good i've dragged him out in the rain we were buying things that weren't for him so I did take pity on him and he did get a little toy as well. Uh, so he was happy. And to be honest, he's played with what he... Basically, he saw this. He saw this and he wanted one. So I, I bought him one. It's just a little chopping board fruit and veg set. It was only a couple of pounds. So I was like, do you know what? It's not going to break the bank. It won't hurt. 
and he's played with it non-stop since we came home with the exception of when daddy came home and we decorated the tree um he just he's been happy with it so in my eyes that's a couple of pounds well spent um but yeah so we've just got some coloring books and pens and crayons and some slipper socks and toy car and little play set so hopefully that's going to go to a family that really needs it and will appreciate it um and then on to the stuff that i bought for myself um so i did get this i don't really know why i got this um i just thought it looked kind of cute um see if you can see a bit closer it's got like fake snow on um you've got your berries and your little tree some poinsettias pine cone around the back um I, just, I really like this pot it's such a nice little um sort of texture i suppose on the pot um and i really like the color as well um and i just thought i can put that on my drawers over there and it can feature in uh, a couple of my december videos or should I say videos that I'm filming in December because we all know that just because I film something doesn't mean it goes up in the month that it was filmed. I'll give you Project Pan as an example. Um, oh, speaking of filming, I'm still sitting here looking at my FabFitFun box that arrived last month. I, I'm not... By the time I've filmed that and it goes up... It's going to be time for the next box to come out, so that's a video that I think I'm going to have to scrap again. I, I think I think I may have scrapped the last two boxes. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm catching up. I'm I, I am definitely catching up, but I'm not quite there yet. So, but on the plus side, that's only one video I had to scrap last month. Normally, I'm scrapping two or three, so it's it's an improvement um what else did i get tea light candles um so these smell so good so these are gingerbread scented um and they do smell really good i we bought we bought this brand and fragrance in a little jar thing a few weeks back and i wasn't that impressed to be honest um it didn't seem to have a lot of scent throw but these i can smell them from sort of a way away so i'm hoping the tea lights are going to be a little bit better than the actual jar candle was and then i picked up the frosted vanilla scent as well so they also smell quite nice i'm quite hungry i've started weight watchers again which was probably a stupid thing at this end of the year definitely a stupid thing at this end of the year let's be honest um so yeah everything is just making me want to eat all the foods that i know i'm not supposed to be eating at the moment but i need to do something i'm not happy and i keep sitting here saying i'm not happy and i can't keep saying i'm not happy if i'm not willing to do something about it so at least for the next few weeks i'm gonna be super good and just try to do even if it's just bringing it down a little bit <sighs> i just need to do something anyway off the subject again i am really going off tangents at the moment aren't i let's try not to do that and then i also got some more of these i love these so these are the bubble tea bath crumbles um, I've got watermelon one and a mango one. In fact, I've bought two mango ones, but one's for my husband. Because he stole my watermelon ones. I bought some last month. I think I had one bath with them. I used like a small handful of them. And I went into the bathroom a few days later and the packet was just sitting empty on the side. Throwing them away. So, yeah, that was fun. I was not impressed but it happens all the time i wasn't surprised um oh i did get this as well i thought this was quite cute so it's a little hat with a big fluffy pom-pom on the top um i do have a hat i had one ironically enough i had one in fabfit fun last year and i love that hat 
but I've put it away and I've put it away somewhere so safe I don't know where that is so while we were out today and I was getting cold and wet I saw this and thought I'm gonna do it so can you can you see that you can't see that here it is it can be all pom pommy and floppy and it's gonna keep me nice and warm and snuggly on the way to and from work because I walk because we don't drive and even if we did drive I would probably still walk to be honest but there you go um oh, now I have hat hair as well as I can't be bothered hair it's a day <laughs> so yeah and I think my son is tickling the door I think I think that means he wants me so on that note I'm gonna say good night give me a minute <laughs> um so yeah on that note i am gonna say good night and i'll see you again in the next clip which will be me doing something hopefully not too dull and boring good night hi again wow this lighting's amazing isn't it um, so it's been about, I don't even know how long it's been since I picked up this camera to do this vlog. Really not very good at this am I? It's probably been at least two weeks. It's currently the 18th of December. Um, there's not really been a lot happen. Shocker I know. It's 2020. There's not much happening and if there is it's depressing. But anyway, um, basically I've just been going to work, coming home, doing housey stuff. Nothing very interesting. So there's not really been anything worth coming on camera for. So sorry about that. Um, I've been out this morning with my husband and my son. We've done a bit of last minute Christmas shopping. Um, got just some, so a couple of stocking fillers really. Um, and some snack food, Christmassy snack food. Um, but yeah, not not much. Um, it's all a bit dull and boring, really. It rained again. What a shock! So I'm a bit. I was a bit bedraggled earlier on. I've tried to neaten myself up a little bit, but it is what it is. Uh, and yeah, I think that's about it really <laughs> my update is there's nothing to update uh so oh calendars advent calendars we've been unboxing those daily me and my son he's quite enjoyed helping me out uh we've had a few construction vehicles helping us that's been interesting but i'm quite impressed with myself i've been remembering to open them daily last year uh, i know I kept forgetting so there'd be like two or three days where I'd have to sort of catch up but this year I've been keeping on top of it so that's an improvement um oh speaking of improvements I think I mentioned in my last clip I really don't know what the last clip was but I'm, I'm thinking it was the last clip um I talked about having my new computer it's so much better oh my gosh this week for instance I've managed to get a video up on Monday and Wednesday and that's kind of unheard of it doesn't happen very often and if it does it's usually because I've got something all ready to go but no I've been editing on the go this week which I would never have been able to do before so that's I'm looking forward to next year now because I've got ideas and things that I want to do for next year for YouTube and I've got hope that some of it at least might actually happen now so <laughs> I'm excited is that a bit sad it's probably a little bit sad isn't it but mm, that's my life and well that's 2020 at the very least <laughs> so uh, yeah hopefully I manage to uh, keep on top of things from now on that will be oh, so good so yeah I think that's all to update on for now. I'll hopefully see you before the end of December. 
hopefully we'll see shall we um but yeah that's it for right now this second anyway see you soon so it is the 23rd of december very close to christmas very very close um although for once i actually feel like i'm a little bit ahead which is unusual for me normally i'm i'm the person on my hands and knees on christmas eve frantically wrapping every single present that we've bought um and this year they're pretty much done so i've just finished wrapping the last few for my husband almost the last few i've got one that i think might be coming tomorrow fingers crossed and then i've just found out that one present that i was hoping to get here before christmas it's not going to happen so i'm a bit i'm a bit sort of sad about that but it's not the end of the world he's still going to get it it's just not going to be on christmas day so and it's my own fault I, I ordered it quite late so i've only got myself to blame really but it's not like he's got nothing to open and you know in the grand scheme of things first world problems can't complain too much um but yeah all my son's presents are wrapped like i said the majority of my husband's presents are wrapped food's pretty much in we've just got to get a couple of little bits and pieces tomorrow um just some like sandwich filler type things and um just stuff to keep us going for the next couple of days while nobody wants to leave the house um oh i did have a bit of good news My, um i had a, f a fair amount of annual leave left owing and um i've got to use it all by the end of january so sat down with my manager a couple of days ago and um, I'm off for the next two weeks. Was not expecting that. I knew I was off on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Um, but then I thought I was going to have to go in on the Sunday. And then I was supposed to be in for New Year's eve no yes new year's eve but not new year's day and then in again the day after and because i've got a enough holiday owing my manager has gone have those two so i'm literally not back at work now until the 4th of january so that was such a nice surprise because it was going to be a very sort of broken period of going into work and not being in work and I was trying to keep track of where everything was but now now I don't have to. I know exactly when I finished which was yesterday and I'm not back until the 4th so very happy about that. Um, I'm planning on getting some filming done during that time because I've got a little series that I want to do for January. I want to film my collection videos. So I want to sort of get all that done. If I can get that done in a period of sort of two, three days while I'm off, I can just edit them and they can just be ready to go sort of throughout January. So that'd be cool because that's something that I've always wanted to do. Not always, like not, not when I first started on YouTube. But, yeah, this last year I've really wanted to have a go at doing some collection videos, but I've never really sort of, I've never felt like I've had the time or the patience to do it. But if I've got a couple of weeks off and now I've got the computer and the software that will make life a little bit more easy, um, I might actually be able to get that done. So I'm really excited I'm just I'm so excited for next year for YouTube because I just feel like there's so many things that I've wanted to do last year that I just didn't feel like I could do and now I feel like there's hope so all I need now is the actual time to do it and I might actually be able to do it I'm quite excited as I said in the last clip I think very sad I know but you know I'm easily pleased what can I say um, but yeah, other than that, it's Christmas, guys. Uh, so I'm probably not going to film too much 
in the way of vlog over the next couple of days because it's it's family time um i don't want to sort of be whipping the camera out to film opening presents and things i kind of just want to enjoy the moment um but if i get chance or if there's anything that i feel like i can come on and say then i'll do that um but yeah just thought i'd uh give a little bit of an update it's not much of one i know but there we go um and i'll see you in the next clip so a couple of things to update you on um so i just thought i'd pop on and update you so i've just finished filming glossy box um it's the 27th of december glossy box came monumentally late this month it actually arrived on the 24th on christmas eve um yeah i was going to film my tribe beauty box as well tonight um it came the same day as glossy box did but glossy box took me a little longer than anticipated to film because there, there were a few issues which if you've watched that video you'll you'll know that video would have gone up before this one will so you'll already know what the issues are but i'm not i'm not impressed i'm not impressed uh but we'll we'll see how that goes uh, so I'm just going to sit down now, I'm going to edit that video so that that can go up for tomorrow, for Monday. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, say hi and uh, update you on that. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things as well. So my husband um, bought me a little hair care gift set. Um, it was Tony and Guy and I've handily left it out of the way so I'll just give me a second so he got me got me this little case it's from Tony and Guy um, now he did buy me the volumising shampoo set which isn't really what I need I need more the um, anti-frizz sort of moisture care kind of stuff really but do you know what he bought me some hair products I'm not going to complain. Um, so there was the um, let me find the shampoo part. So we've got the Volume Addiction shampoo and conditioner. So that's really actually handy because um, I've run out of shampoo. I'm really upset. I'm so annoyed. My Hask shampoo, the um, moisture rich shampoo and conditioner that I've been using, I've been loving that stuff. It's it's been really good for my hair. I've run out of it last month um, and I've been looking to get some more and I can't find it anywhere. Like everywhere that I would normally buy it, I can't find it. I can find other versions of Hask um, shampoo and conditioner, but not that one. So I've been using up some little um, like mini sizes of shampoos and conditioners that I've had. There were ones that we bought to put in swimming kits for when we took um, our son swimming, but that hasn't happened for a while. So I can't see me having, I can't see me needing to use them anytime soon either. So I've just been using those up, and I'm just I'm not as happy. So, but maybe maybe these will have some kind of desired effect it's not normally what i would pick like i said i wouldn't normally pick the volume but we can try it and see um but there was also in here there was a dry shampoo i don't really use dry shampoo but you never know maybe i will discover a love for it this year but so far i just i just don't see the point of dry shampoo i know people use it all the time i know people that do use it all the time i just don't understand the need for it i wash my hair like every other day i don't need anything in between but maybe that's just my hair i don't know i just i just don't get it anyway um if you do use dry shampoo and you know you get on all right with it let me know maybe i'm just using it wrong um it's highly likely then we've got the um finishing shine spray which is something that i will definitely use i love things like this um especially because i do sometimes get that sort of coarse my coarse bits all go a bit curly and something like this just helps to sort of tame it a little bit so that would be cool it's also got static control in it which is good 
and then this is a 3D volumizer spray which again is something that I can't say I've ever really used so it's volume root boost and shine control and apparently if you put it on your roots it sort of boosts your hair shocking I know from that description who knew that that was what was going to happen um but yeah I don't know I just I'm going to try it I'm going to try it and see and then it was a little comb as well so and the boy done good you know it might not be exactly what I would have chosen for myself but it's useful things and it's things that he's obviously noticed that I'm interested in so I'm quite happy with him and also the little case is quite nice as well and to be honest he did say to me that the, one of the main reasons he'd chosen this set was because of the case he said he thought it might be a uh, handy storage for me so he does pay attention sometimes I do wonder but every now and then he literally pulls it out of the bag and um, surprises me so that was that and he also bought me a little um, mini blender thing it's like a you can blend and go i'm gonna try and describe it you probably know what i'm talking about and if you don't i'm hoping you're going to understand by the time i finished um but basically it's like a little tiny blender stand and you've got two bottles with it and you screw on as, as though it's a lead you screw on the blades tip it upside down blend whatever you've got in your cup and then sort of take it back off unscrew it put a sports lid on and then you can take the drink with you and he's noticed that i'm sort of trying to pay a bit more attention to what i'm eating again so we thought that might be a nice useful thing for me to have so yeah i thought hmm, he's actually been quite thoughtful not that he's never thoughtful <laughs> let me just put that out there but i you know he'd, he'd helped me to buy the computer this year so i i didn't think he was going to get me anything and then he, he sort of suggested that he was going to and i told him not to because he'd already spent enough on me and then he's bought me those two things as well so that's it's quite nice i feel quite spoiled this year um and then what else oh i bought some lights for my shelving unit that I sit in front of for filming. Let me just see if I can take this off and show you. Excuse my mug. Um, all up close and personal like. Hi! Don't look too closely. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's just some like LED strip lights that you stick on. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So, oh, sugar, something's just fallen down the back. So they're just plug into the socket but then they're sort of adhesive and stick to the to a surface clearly um, and then there's lots of little LED lights that are on and you can change the colour of them as well so I've got the purple ones on because purple um, and then you can also you can change it to red and green and blue and like a yellowy colour and you can have them fading and you can have them sort of alternating and changing and it's quite cool really so I thought I'd give that a go and see what that looks like on my backgrounds um, and if I don't like it I don't have to use it I can just use it for when I'm not filming but I thought it would just look quite interesting let me just see if I can pop this back in the tripod oh sorry sorry for the wobbles sorry um but yeah so let's see how it goes and you guys will have to let me know what you think whether it looks okay or whether you'd rather I just didn't have it because I think it looks okay <laughs> but you're the ones watching my videos so uh, you'll have to let me know what you think um and was there anything else I think that was about it to be honest Christmas day was quite quiet obviously you know it was always going to be whether we wanted it to be or not but to be fair it wasn't really that much different for us it's usually just the three of us anyway so there wasn't really a big change for us it's just that we'd normally have gone to see people in the run-up in the last like couple of weeks and um, we, we obviously weren't able to do that it's um it's a bit depressing um you know i haven't seen my mom since march it's a bit a bit bit sad you know she's 
bit down about it quite a lot and you know there's not, not really a lot I can do about it I just want to just want to give her a hug and tell her it's going to be okay um you know my, my dad lives a, a fair distance away and he's disabled as well can't really see him um and then you've got my nan who's in um what they call sheltered accommodation um if you don't know what that is it's basically they've got their own she's got her own flat um but she has carers that pop in sort of regularly throughout the day just to make sure she's got everything she needs you know her bed's made she's managed to get herself up and dressed if she needs any help with anything they can sort that out for her um but for all intents and purposes it's her it's her own place um but yeah they're on like that they've been on pretty much a total lockdown since march as well so i haven't seen her either and she's 95 and i'm i'm rubbish with phone calls as well so you know i always end up feeling guilty when i do get around to calling people because it's it looks like i don't care and i do but i'm just i'm rubbish with phone calls absolutely terrible with phone calls i'd rather just go and see her and i just can't i just can't at the minute video calls with my dad and my nana just it's not going to happen basically I've managed to video call my mum a few times um so that's been quite nice um she's been able to see my son you know she's missing him quite a lot he was reading something the other day and I sent her a video of it the other day it was more like a few weeks ago but she got quite upset about that because she hadn't realized that he'd, he'd started to be able to read and that's how long it's been since she's seen him because for me he's been reading for a while but for my mom that was like oh my god he can read you know so it's just I don't know I know it's everyone it's not just me but it's just frustrating and you've got people over this sort of time of year desperate to go out and I just I just hope everybody's being careful and not doing stupid things and not going out partying because while the rest of us are following the rules and you're living life to the fullest the rest of us are suffering just so you know it's not about you it's about everybody else but anyway rant over um oh wow another rant about uh, about the pandemic i'm pretty sure i did one in last vlog as well sorry about that anyway um i think i think that's it for right now um like i said i'm gonna edit my glossy box video now i'm gonna have to film try beauty box tomorrow i've got a few other videos i need to get done this week as well and as i said i want to get some um uh collection videos done so i've got a week i need to get them done so I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'm going to stop saying so so much as well because it's annoying me as I'm saying it it's going to annoy me even more when I'm going through this footage I'm pretty sure it's going to annoy you too and I've probably just highlighted it to you so it's probably going to annoy you even more now you're welcome uh, so yeah I'll see you soon hi so it snowed it snowed um it snowed yesterday and the day before and yesterday it was quite chunky so it stuck we've got a fair bit of snow on the ground little man is loving it he's currently off in the distance running around in the snow i thought we'd walk through the park on the way home um we've been out to go and get a few bits and pieces again because you know i still can't get a delivery slot well, I can, I've got one, but it's not until the 8th of January and I thought we might want to eat before then, so yeah, so a trip to the shops was necessary I did get a few little bits and pieces that weren't food related as well and I'll show you those a bit later on, but I just thought it would be nice to see a different place other than my room in my house again, so so to just pop on and say hi another mask me moment and i'm sorry if this is very um wobbly and bumpy by the way because i'm trying to push a push chair in the snow it's amazing um but yeah i'll speak to you later bye 
Little dude's enjoying the snow. Come here, bud. You can't come and say hello. Hello. Are you liking the snow? Mm hmm. Is it fun? <laughs> Bless him. Hi again. So, as promised, um, I just thought I'd pop on and show you some of the things that I picked up earlier on. Um, nothing majorly exciting, but uh, two of the things I just thought were kind of cute and quite pretty, and then the other one just sort of suits my mood 90% of the time so had to be done um so the first thing i got was this so it's a little fake succulent plant um has to be fake me and real plants do not mix so fake it is um but yeah they've got a couple of these um this was from home bargains by the way i talk about that place all the time i'm aware of that I don't actually live there, but sometimes I feel like I do. Um, but yeah, I, they've got a few of these in there, but this one was my favourite. But I'm tempted to pick um, a couple of the others up, to be honest, because they were quite cute and I think they'd look quite in a sort of, maybe a trio. Um, I say that, I say I'll pick some up. I think Home Bargains will still be open. We've just been told we're going into a Tier 4 lockdown from tonight. So that's fun. I love the place I live in. People just do what they want. And the rest of us have to suffer the consequences. Um, but anyway, I'm not getting into another rant. I've already done one in this vlog, I'm sure. Second thing I got was another fake plant. So this is a little lavender plant. I loved the pot on this, like a fake marble effect. And I thought, oh, poking myself in the eye, fabulous. Um, and then I just thought the color of the lavender was really pretty. And the colour of the leaves on it. Um, I just wanted something to make this room feel a bit more sort of homely. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, this room looks lived in. And by lived in, I mean a pigsty. Um, because I do a lot of stuff in here, I, I kind of just come in here, do what I need to do, and then leave. So things just get dropped everywhere. I do my makeup in here, I do my skincare in here, I do my editing in here, I film my videos in here. So it gets used a lot, but I don't actually stay in here for leisure. And I kind of want to, but I can't at the moment because it's such a mess. So I really want to get on that, I really want to get that sorted out. Um, and I thought if I get a couple of plants, it might encourage me to tidy up so that I've got somewhere to put them. Maybe. You never know. I don't expect plants to work miracles, don't worry, but maybe it will help. And I'm willing to try anything. Um, and then the last thing that I got was this. This was from Wilco's. Um, but yeah, it just, I can't adult. I can't adult today that will probably get used later because I'm about at that stage now I'm tired I've done a lot of running around and doing some cleaning and as you saw running around in the snow so I'm ready to just wind down for the night now so I'm gonna finish up a few things that I need to do for YouTube and then I'm going to have a nice relaxing soak in the bath and get ready for bed. Sounds like a great plan to me. Um, I also think I'm going to end this little vlog here because, as I said, I've got a lot of things that I need to do. I've got a lot of filming that I need to do. I want to start doing my collection videos from tomorrow. So um, that's going to take me some time. And I want this vlog up at the beginning of January, not the end of it. So... I'm going to try and get this finished off tomorrow so that it can go up for the sort of first or second January. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's going to be it. I don't foresee anything extra exciting happening in the next day. Tier four lockdown. Any New Year's Eve plans anybody had in my area have been cancelled, but I didn't have any anyway. So there's nothing fun happening. You won't be missing out on anything if I cut this short by a day it's fine um something else as well i think there was something else i wanted to tell you i can't think what it was i don't know i don't know i don't think it can have been that important then i can't even speak properly now 
I know that last sentence all just rolled into, all the words just rolled into each other. Like I said, I can't adult today. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye for December. I hope everybody's well and staying safe. Let me know if this month's vlog has been particularly dull and boring. I have a feeling it probably was because it was just me sitting on camera chatting about probably not a lot um if it was a bit boring a bit boring a bit dull and boring all rolled into one there um then i might not do one for january but i might start it and see how it goes but we can't go anywhere we can't do anything um we can still do grocery shopping and we can still go for exercise so we can still go for walks and that but uh, it's not really the height of entertainment is it um but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes i've quite enjoyed having a go at vlogging and i think once we can sort of get back to any semblance of normality um i think i'll enjoy it a little bit more but uh but yeah for now it's just a bit oh, i don't know i don't know whether it's worth it let me know let me know if you actually care about anything that I've I'm, I've been talking about this month. Um, let me know if you actually would just prefer it if I waited until I can actually live normal life again. Um, and I'll sort of take it from there really. Um, but yeah, so anyway, as I said, I hope everyone's okay. I um, hope you're all having an okay time at the moment. I know it's not going to be brilliant, but I hope you're all at least well. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye.